Kumusta kayong lahat? Welcome sa Math Story. Samahan niyo ako sa bago nating topic, conditional probability. So for probability of A given B, this one is equal to the probability of A and B over the probability of B. So we have this problem so the table shows the summary of students from two sections who passed or failed in their mathematics exam. Then what is the probability that the selected student passed the exam? So to solve for the probability of the student pass the exam, since in the table we have total number of students who pass the exam, that's 65, then over the total number of students, that's 100, then we need to reduce the 65 over 100. So this is how to reduce a fraction using calculator. So 65, then this ABC, then 100. So 65 over 100, that's 13 over 20. So this one is 13 over 20. So this is the probability. Then for this problem, so what is the probability that this selected student came from class B? So the probability of selecting a student from class B, so from the table, so we have total number of students in section B, that's 40, so this one is 40 over 100. Then we need to reduce this 40 over 100. So this 40, then ABC, 100. That's 2 over 5. So that's 2 over 5. So this is the probability. Then for this one, so what is the probability that this selected student failed the exam and from class A? So the probability that the student failed and from section A. So in the table, so under section A, number of students who failed, that's 25. So this one is 25 over 100. Then to reduce this one, so that's 1 over 4. So this is the probability. Then for the probability of a student who pass, if it is known that uh, from class A, so this one is a conditional probability. So the probability of the student who pass given class A. So this one is equal to the probability of pass and class A over the probability of class A. So in the table under section A, the number of students who pass, that's 35. So this one is 35 over 100, then over the probability of A. So number of students in section A, that's 60. So we have 60 over 100. Then to simplify, so we have 35 over 100 times the reciprocal of 60 over 100, that's 100 over 60, then we can cancel this 100, so we have 35 over 60, then reduce this 35 over 60, so 35 in this ABC 60, that's 7 over 12, so this one is 7 over 12. So this is the probability. Then for the students who pass, then from class B, so we have this probability of pass given section B or class B. So we can uh, write this one as the probability 
of bus in class B or section B over the probability of section B or class B. So the number of students in section B who pass, that's 30. So we have 30 over 100 then over the probability of B. So total number of students in section B, that's 40. So this one is 40 over 100. Then to simplify, so 30 over 100 times the reciprocal, that's 100 over 40. So cancel, so we have 30 over 40. And this 30 over 40, that's 3 over 4. So this is the probability. Then for this problem, so students who failed, then it is known that from class A, so we have the probability of the students who failed given class A. So we can write this one as the probability of failed in section A or class A over the probability of section A or class A. So the number of students in section A who failed, that's 25. So we have 25 over 100, then over the probability of section A. So section A has 60 students, so 60 over 100. So we have now 25 over 100, then the reciprocal, so times 100 over 60. Then we can cancel, so we have now 25 over 60, so this 25 over 60, 25, then ABC 60, that's 5 over 12. So this one is 5 over 12, so this is the probability. Then for this problem, so students have failed. From class B, so uh, probability of failed, then given class B. So this one is equal to the probability of failed in section B or class B over the probability of section B. So number of students who failed in section B. That's 10, so this one is 10 over 100, over the probability of B, so total number of students in B, that's 40, so 40 over 100. Then we have 10 over 100 times 100 over 40, cancel, so this is 10 over 40, and this one is equal to 1 over 4, so this is the probability. Then the number of students in class A given a uh, number of students who pass the test. So the probability of students in class A given students who pass the test. So this one is the probability of section A or class A and pass over the probability of a student who pass. So section A, number of students who pass, that's 35, so 35 over 100, then over the probability of students who pass, so total number of students who pass, that's 65, so this one is 65 over 100. Then to simplify, so 35 over 100 times uh, 100 over 65. Then cancel, so this one is 35 over 65. So to reduce, 35, then ABC 65, that's 7 over 13. So this one is uh, 7 
over 13. So this is the probability. Then the probability of a student is from class B given that he or she passed the test. So the probability from class B given she or he passed the test. So we have the probability of B and student who passed the test over the probability of pass the test. So section B, number of students who pass the test, we have 30. So this one is 30 over 100, then over. Total number of students who pass the test, we have 65 over 100. So 30 over 100 times 100 over 65. So cancel. So we have now 30 over 65. Then to reduce, so 30, then ABC 65, that's 6 over 13. So this one is 6 over 13, and this is the probability for this problem. So students from class A, given that he or she failed the test, so the probability from class A given failed the test. So this one is the probability of A and failed over the probability of failed. So number of students in class A who failed the test, we have 25. So that's 25 over 100 over total number of students who failed the test, that's 35. So this one is 35 over 100. Then to simplify, so we have 25 over 100 times 100 over 35. So this one now is equal to 25 over 35. So to reduce, this one is equal to 5 over 7. So this is the probability.